Hi Jurassic Kitties, Winnie here. Today we're gonna draw the red light green light doll from Squid Game. So let's get started. To draw this cool and creepy doll, let's first start by drawing her face. So I'm gonna come right here and start with the bottom of a U. Nice and white, come right across uh, about right here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and connect it with a curve at the bottom. So about right here, come to the center and go back up. There, so nice bottom view for her face. Then I'm going to start to draw her eyes. So her eyes are going to be at this level where I have these two points, nice and level. And I'm going to find two points in the center so my eyes are nice and even. And so I'll say about right here. I'm going to come down a little bit right here and here. I'm just going to give myself two points. And this is where my eyes are going to start. So by giving myself these two points, it's just a little bit easier to gauge to make them about the same size. So I'm just going to go up with a slight curve and come down towards the edge. So same thing on this side. Go up. So it's always harder for me. And I'm just going to make sure I'm about the same level. And once again, come down just like the other side. So I'm starting with these two curves right there. Then from there, I'm going to come into the center area and I'm going to draw a circle. Right in here. And then at the bottom, I'm going to anchor it with a curve that goes up. And then right underneath the circle just to anchor it. So same thing over here. Let's draw a circle. And anchor it with a curve. Slightly goes up. There. And then now to bring these eyes to life, I'm going to add two highlights right here. One at the top, one at the bottom. So two circles, and then I'll come in here and draw a circle. Well, kind of like an oval now inside and shade this all in. And let's do the same thing on the other side. So right here, a highlight, top and bottom, and then inside another oval. If you have one of those white out pens or white acrylic pens, you'll need to draw these circles. You can just go ahead and put in those white highlights later. Okay, so now that we have that in, let's come back here and we're going to um, thicken this top part, this top curve. And then right here on the edge, I'm just gonna give it a little curve in. So same thing here, just thicken this up so it anchors the eyes a little bit better. And curve in a tiny bit. There. And then let's see here. Now we're done with the eyes. Let's come to the top and we're going to draw the brows. So the actual doll, the brows, you can barely see, but because I'm using a Sharpie, I'm going to go ahead and just very, very lightly just draw a soft curve <laughs> over. I feel like she definitely needs it. So right here, just a soft curve. And I'll come in here and thicken this part a little bit. Just the ends. Since this is more of like a line drawing. And then right here, I'm going to very lightly just add a little curve on both sides. And then let's see here, then for her lips, right? So in the center right here, I'm gonna go ahead about right here, I'm gonna go ahead and draw a curve. So I'm gonna start with a curve right in the center. And the reason I'm starting with a curve is first because I wanna make sure her lips are centered when I draw them. And then using this curve, I'm going to come right here and go up towards the center, down to draw her lips and then down to create that shape for her upper lip and then her bottom lip is just a basically soft curve in. And then in here, in center, I'm just gonna give it a little darker space in the center. There. So 
hopefully I helped you to draw her lips. And then from there, we're pretty much done with her face. Let's go ahead and start to frame and draw her hair. And before I do that, I forgot, let's draw her ears. So let's come back to where her eyes are. And in this area, go ahead and draw a big curve inside details. So two curves. And let's do the same thing on this side. So about right here. And curve. And two curves inside for her ears. Then from there, let's go up. And basically going to draw a big curve over, like imagining an oval. So let's go nice and round. Right around and back. Just creating this big curve. And then for the top of her hair, let's go right here, taper to her head on both sides. And we're just going to draw this big dome over it. So nice and high and actually kind of narrow. So about right here at the top and then come right back down. There. And then for some details, because they are bangs, so I'm going to come right in the center and I'm just going to go ahead and start drawing curves. It's center curve. And then on this side, I'm going to go this way just to add some more texture. And same thing on this side for her bangs. And if you like, you can even come in here and just thicken the ends a little bit just to make it look like there's it's parted right here on the ends there. So if you're using a pencil, you can just go in there and just slightly erase those areas. Okay, so then from there, I'll draw her pigtails a little bit later. I want to make sure her body is in first. So let's come to the center and we're going to give her a neck. So right here in the center, just going to give her a little neck and then bring out her shoulders about right here and down. Same thing here, shoulders and down. Then let's come back right here. We're going to give her a curve right here for her neck. Uh, let's see, come back about right here where her shoulders are. Give myself two points for where her armpits would be. About right there. And I'm going to draw a slight angle line down on both sides. So now we know where her arms are and where her body is. Then from there, let's draw in some details. So let's come about right here. And I'm going to give her a little neckline for her dress. I mean, the straps for her dress, not her neckline, sorry. <laughs> I'm just gonna curve right there in the center. And then for her inside blouse, she has this collar, two curves from the center. Now that we have that in, let's come back here and let's connect her, the straps on her dress. So right here, just gonna connect it with a curve and about right there, I'll go ahead and connect with another curve right here. And then from there, we're going to start her the skirt part. So I'm going to pop this out a little bit right here and bring this down. And let's keep going down a little bit more. About right there. Now that I'm pretty leveled on the same, I'm going to go ahead and just draw a curve, wobble a curve across. And making sure the bottom part, the center part is lower and going back up. Then from there, we can come back in here and just draw some crease lines for some details. And then her legs. So let's come right in the center, about right here and here and her hip area. So let's work on this side first. I'm going to bring this down a slight angle and we're getting thinner as we come down. So about right there, nice thick legs. <laughs> and then let's bring this down and then I'm going to start to flare it out for her feet. So flare it out and then round it off and connect. So same thing on this side. Just come in, slight angle. And ball right here. Same thickness as the other side. And 
and for her feet. And connect. And then for her details on her shoes, let's come right here, draw a curve. And then she has a strap. So another curve and then a curve going the other way. So same thing over here. And now to draw her socks, so come about right here. We're just gonna cut it off with a curve and give it some ruffles right here. All the way across. So same thing on this side. There. And then from there, let's go ahead and draw her arms. So let's come back right here and we're going to bring a sleeve down, flare it out slightly, and I'll bring it down to about right here. So same thing on this side. and connect and then for her arms i'm going to bring them right here right to her side so just curve kind of following this outline and come down right there and i'm going to flare this part well let's draw the thumb first so thumb and then flare out for her finger and bring it in So same thing on the other side. So come right here, kind of following the body right next to it. And about right here, same as the other side. Gonna stop. Stick it up and then about right here, go ahead and draw a thumb and fingers. And connect. And you can add just a little finger in the back here for indication, if you like. Then to make them look like a uh, robot hand, so I'm going to come about right here in this area where it would bend. And I'm going to draw a curve right here. And another one going this way. Cut it off right here. And then in this spot right here, we have this darker rectangle shape. And then let's, if you like, you can pop this part out so it comes out so you know there's a joint right there and here as well. So same thing on the other side. So about right here, curve, curve, cut it off, and pop this part out. So we have the joint area and then now finally let's draw her pigtails to make this drawing complete so let's come right here and we're going to add a curve that comes down and before i finish that i'm going to stop and draw three circles just right here i'm just going to tuck them into this space right here next to her face and then to draw the pigtails i'm going to come out and out and then just go ahead and connect it with another curve right there and then come in here with two curves for some details so same thing over here so it's coming through and about right there i'll stop and just draw three circles and once again just like the other side about right there and connect and some details and let's see I'm going to make this a little bit higher now that I'm looking at my camera maybe I can change the shape of her eye make it a little bit higher right here so it's very subtle how you draw this curve will determine how she looks so I hope I didn't mess it up <laughs> there okay and then when you color that part in whatever color you want to give her eyes right here it'll make it look more complete 
So they're all done. I really hope I helped you draw this doll from Squid Game and that you loved how it turned out. Thanks so much for watching and if you loved it, please make sure to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later.